Welcome to this Google Drive screencast where we're taking a look at how to organize and access work with students. Specifically in this screencast, we're going to look at how the teacher can create a class resources folder in Google Drive. So the point of this exercise is I want to create a folder that my students can access, whether I send them the link or I link this up on my teacher website, and any files I put in that folder, I want them to only be able to view. So I first have to create that folder. So I'm going to just click on my drive. So I'm creating this folder in my drive. I'm going to click create folder. Now because others will be accessing this folder, you want to name it in such a way that those that come to the folder know what this folder is. So I'm going to put my teacher name, followed by a space, and this is for my new media class. So I'll put new media, and then I'll put files. So I would recommend that format, teacher name, class name, files. So when this shows up in the student's Google Drive, they know exactly what folder that is. So I hit create. So here's that folder, Kafka New Media Files. Now, anything I put in there, I want my kids to be able to see, so I have to change the rights to this folder. So this is the way that I recommend doing this. I'm going to click on the little option arrow for that folder, and I'm going to go to Share, and go to Share again. And I'm going to change this from Private to Anyone with the Link Can View. This is, there's multiple ways to do this. This is probably the most efficient way. So now any files I put in this folder, my kids will just be able to view. So copies of my notes, uh, copies of if we did worksheets in class, uh, if I gave some slide presentations, anything that I put in here is what the kids can view. It is important to know that the kids can view those files. So be careful not to put anything in there that has uh, any sensitive information, any student first names, last names, um, ID numbers, anything like that. If you need more um, kind of rights than anyone can view, you could go back in here and if you wanted to make it so your students had to sign in in order to see that folder, you could choose people at Franklin Public Schools with the link. Um, that's only if there is stuff that you plan to put in there that only your, your only anyone in Franklin should be able to see. Uh, so most times I do anyone with the link because um, it's not sensitive information that I'm putting in there. Okay, so that folder set up, I'm going to hit done. So now that little person is on the folder signaling I've changed the rights for this folder. So now let's put some files in this folder. Um, I have a personal new media folder of my own and I've got some files here. The syllabus, uh, an upcoming assignment, here's our agenda slides. Uh, let's see what else we can put in here. Maybe uh, I think I've got a rubric for a project that's coming up. Where did it go here? Here's a rubric and some directions for a project they're going to be doing. So let's just start with those five files. So I could checkbox those and I could use my folder button or I could drag and drop them into that Kafka New Media Files folder I made. So I've checkboxed those files. Now here's a trick. If you want a Google Drive file to appear in more than one folder, so I've got all this stuff in my New Media folder for me already, but I also want this stuff to appear here. There's a trick to make it be that file to be in both places at once. I choose my files. I click the Move To button. And if I scroll down my list here, I can see these files are already checked off in my new media folder. That's just for me as the teacher. If you hold down on the Mac, you hold down the Command key. If you're on Windows and you hold the Control key, you can actually click more than one folder to put these files into. I wouldn't recommend putting files in, in many more than maybe two folders, but in this case it makes sense. I want, I want things organized here for me so when I work on class stuff I go to New Media, but when my kids go see the files with view only rights they're going to go here. So I'm going to hit move. It's not really going to move them. It's going to leave them in this folder and make them also appear in that second folder. So if I go to New Media I see all the files are there. I also see that it says they're also available in the Kafka New Media Files folder as well. And again, this Kafka New Media Files folder, this is the folder that I'm going to send the link to my students so that they can get access to this. So let's take a look at what that looks like now. So the link for this folder, it's always good when you get a link for a folder to actually go back into the share box or the share settings to get the link. This is the actual link. So I'm going to copy that. I could email this now to my students on, you know, before class even starts and say, hey, here's Here's what the uh, here's the class folder we're going to be using, and over the course of the semester, I'm going to be putting files in here. Let's take a look at though what this looks like for the kid. So I'm now signed in as a student. I switched windows here. So if the student were to click that link, let's say this is what it looks like for them. 
And if you want to show this video as, as a, a way for kids to do this in class, feel free. So here are the files. So now as a student signed in, the student first has to be signed into their Google account. They can click this Add to Drive button and watch what this does. When I hit Add to Drive, it says now that that folder has been added to my drive for this student. And I can click Open in Drive, and this will take me right over to Google Drive. And I see now that under my drive, here is that Kafka New Media Files folder. And here is anything that Mr. Kafka has put in here. So if I click on one of these files and I open it as a student, you can see that the student has view rights. The student can only see the file. There's no editing tools. So this is a great way to just put files in a place for your students to be able to view. Or if there was a file that was in here that was a worksheet, uh, if the student needed to make a copy of something, so in this case, this is a sample template for a screencast script that the students are going to write. And, it, and I, as the teacher, I even put directions here that said, go to file, make a copy. And so the student makes a copy of this. They can name it as they should to turn it into you. And that will be their document. So they can make copies of your files, but they can't ever mess with the uh, original file as long as the folder is set to view only. Another thing you can do is if you have a teacher website, a Google site set up, so in this case this is my Google site, if you have a page or a place you want to link up that folder, so I made a New Media Files page, when I go to the New Media Files page and I go into edit mode on my Google site, I'm going to place my cursor here a little further down, you can go to insert, drive, folder, and this will let me pick a folder and if you don't see it here you can either scroll through your folders or you could search for it you have to checkbox that folder hit select and then you can choose how this is going to be displayed I tend to turn off the border um, I already says new media files for the page I don't need that height I'm gonna make a little longer so that as this grows it doesn't become a scrollable box I'll put 2000 I'll leave the width alone and I hit save I hit save again so because that file or that folder rather is set to anyone can view, the files will just display here. So you, you have two things you could do here. You could either direct kids to their Google Drive and go to go to your folder to get Mr. Kafka's files, or if I go to my Google site, students go to my Google site and on the new media files page you'll see any of the files there I want you to see. So different ways to get kids to your files digitally, um, and feel free to show this to students so they know kind of how the workflow uh, works that you expect them to do in class. Thanks for watching.